It is so important that a person feels safe, safe enough to tell their story. This is a huge issue for women, for our children, for our sons and our daughters, for our neighbors and our friends. Uh, keep in mind that this man and his entire family had been our best friends for two and a half years prior to this experience. Superior Court Judge Charles Gill, who wrote our foreword, writes, It has been my experience that there exists for too many of our children not a childhood, but a terrorhood. This book is the encyclopedia of what adults should know about this particular terrorist, one called the pedophile. In 1974, when my next guest was 12 years old, she was kidnapped by a trusted family friend. The man picked her up from a piano lesson, drugged her, and kept her for 55 days as the two of them lived in a motor home traveling from Idaho to Mexico. During the two months she was held captive, the man brainwashed her, causing her to believe in aliens and that it was her duty to have a child with him to save an alien planet. She was finally freed by Mexican police cooperating with the FBI and returned to her family. Later, at age 14, she was kidnapped again by the same man. I was multitasking last March, a year ago, watching Dr. Phil when the, the breaking news that Elizabeth Smart had been found broke onto the television. I was absolutely riveted to the television set. I could not stop listening and immediately I began making phone calls. I'd already been groomed for two and a half years by this man. By this time he'd become like a second father. He'd taken his five children, the three of us in my family, to the science fiction movies. It was in the early 70s where there were all kinds of sightings of UFOs uh -huh. in the paper. And so this little girl, these seeds had been planted. When I woke up in the back of that motorhome, it took two seconds to be brainwashed. All of the brainwashing, the seeds had been planted prior to waking up in the back of that motorhome, strapped to the bed with an ivory box planted in my ear in a high-pitched monotone voice that uh, I had been kidnapped by a UFO and was to do everything they told me and if I didn't I would be instantly vaporized. I know for a fact that if Elizabeth's mother had been standing behind her in a grocery store she would not have turned around and said mom it's me Elizabeth help get me out of here. She wouldn't have. I know that because I've lived it. I'm struck by how many children from very religious households mm -hmm. are, I guess, targeted, first of all, but, but seem susceptible uh, in a way to the, uh, to the uh, what are they? The, the workings of a madman? Working, well, <laughs> of a fanatic? For, for, somebody, mm -hmm. for somebody who wants to, t to prey on their minds. Absolutely. Do you know what that's about? Well, I think any time that you're taught to have faith in something, you should also be taught to find facts. If you're going to be taught to believe in something, you better be taught to question it as well. And I think that that's a, a mistake we make. There's a brain in your head. Use it. Educate others. Your gut instincts are more right. That intuition, that intuitiveness is something to definitely pay attention to. You must pay attention to it. And then find the facts to support that. There's service in your hands. Reach out. We need more education because it is information. Information is inspiration. Information is power. Most of these kinds of sexual predators are people that our children know and love, people that their parents know and love. And so it becomes this family secret. Oh, well, we're not going to tell on Uncle Harry. Oh, now, shush, 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 you, that's probably not true. Or, oh, that's in the past. Let's sweep it under the rug. So most of the time, these types of predators are never truly prosecuted. Whoever roars the loudest wins. Above everything else, first, I am a woman. Hear me roar. Thank you very, very much.